finally coming back in. Finally. I know it's such a nice day out there. Louie's just been sitting outside all morning. All morning, haven't you? You're so cute. Good morning, you guys. I am not in focus. There we go. That's better. I just got up. I slept in. I actually, I went to bed late. I stayed up watching Home Alone till 11 p.m. And I know you guys are like, 11 p.m., Katie. But that's late for me. <laughs> Waking up at 5 a.m. means I get in bed at 9 and I am passed out asleep no later than 10. So, yeah, I ended up sleeping in until 6 which was kind of nice and then I took Louie for a nice long walk he saw his friends he has like these doggy friends that he's known his whole life in fact one of them is born the like was born the same year the day before Louis. Louis was born on Christmas Eve and his friend was born on December 23rd and so they've literally known each other their whole lives um, <clears throat> And he was like being so playful trying to get them to chase him like it was like his old puppy self It was very cute But yeah, so I was outside for a long time I was actually talking to the owner because he's from Belgium and It's been particularly hard this year for him because he lives in just a small one-bedroom apartment he hasn't been able to see any of his family because they all live in belgium he hasn't been able to travel to see them and he hasn't been able to like go out and do things and sometimes i complain about oh i just feel so stuck in this apartment but i forget sometimes how blessed i am to have a bigger apartment and a bigger lanai there's only eight people in my entire building that has a lanai like mine everyone else's are just small you can fit a small table on them like a normal patio on in an apartment and so i forget that and i forget that i have dawn i have louis like i have social interactions between from them too instead of living on my own and yeah i mean the guy has his dog but that's like you know what i mean so anyways, yeah, it just was a little Christmas reminder for me to be grateful for what I have. So anyways, I am thinking about doing something with my hair, but I highly doubt I will. I have to get a box out to security so that the mail lady can pick it up. And then I have um, a box I need to send internationally actually to right there. And I need to figure out how I'm going to send those because I do not want to stand in line at the post office. And I'm not sure if they'll let me send them online. So I'm going to have to find that out today because it needs to go out today. So that is my plan. Oh, and then for the rest of the day, I want to clean. I have allowed this place to get too cluttered. Don has all of his like pain medication there for his shoulder and it just sits on the table and we don't need it there um due to the fact we don't need it there due to the fact that there's multiple bottles of it so we don't need the unopened bottles sitting out um so i need to do some cleaning today make this place fresh and clean again and yes football is on it's always on Actually, I thought I would just show you, since we were talking about my lanai, how actually big it is. So, you walk out the door, and we have so much space, like, way more than them. So much space. I just got the biggest box in the mail with what looks like a sea turtle on it right there and my mom told me i can't open it it's so freaking heavy it's ridiculous she told me i can't open it i just have to wrap it up so that's what i'm doing i'm so excited though it's insanely heavy i feel like i need to know what's in it
show is so terrible. Oh my gosh, why? I put the orange on to, or the grapefruit to try to hide how bad the bow is. <laughs>